this game is we're going to get a suggestion from y'all, and they're going to do a three-person scene in 90 seconds. And then after they're done with that, they're going to do the same scene in 45 seconds, and then the same scene in 22 seconds, and then the same scene in 11 seconds. Ty is going to be our timekeeper and keep us on track for time, but what we need to get our performers started is a suggestion for your least favorite holiday. Easter. Being able to get ideas and lines from the audience really helps develop creativity and imagination. So we're, we're able to create a whole world on stage. The Improvocations Group is one of the few improv groups in Central Louisiana. Can you give me a hand here? Oh, yeah. Okay, I've got the beef broth now, right? Beef broth, beef broth's okay for Aunt Marjorie? Yes. Okay. <laughs> for Aunt Marjorie. All right, cool, cool. Wait, um, is she allergic to cayenne? No, 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 that's just... Doesn't your mouth itch when you eat cayenne? No, I love spice. <laughs> maybe I'm allergic to cayenne. Maybe, oh, maybe you have COVID. Oh, God. Oh, no. Hey, Here we are again. I, I don't think anything's wrong. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Get the first aid kit. <laughs> Every time. I always enjoyed making people laugh when I could. And um, something about improv, of course, our goal usually is to to make people laugh, um, but sometimes the funniest part is when we horribly mess up. Improv provides expressive therapy for audience members to laugh and relax. My mom has been dead for five years, and honestly, I'm fine with it. She tried to pull the plug on me after the car accident when she survived. Okay. <laughs> I love performing improv and being with the audience because the fun is contagious. Everyone is involved. Even if you're an audience member who doesn't like to be seen or heard, the energy in the room means you're a part of it. Audience members can participate in comedic improv to boost their self-esteem. After I volunteered, I really <laughs> regretted it as soon as I was walking up there, but after I sat down, I felt really accepted and you know, it's nice when there's a group of people that are willing to kind of just let their guards down. Everybody that gets up there has to do that. Studies have shown expression through arts can help with depression and anxiety. If you're experiencing just anything that makes you feel like you're stuck, improv is a great way to be free. And what I love about this is we're introducing play to adults. So for example, we did an entire show at a bar today, but we were acting like kids. And that's something that a lot of adults are missing in their everyday life. And that's honestly, truly why I love improv. Through improv, audience members can learn to be present and just go with it. Keisha Swafford, ABC 31 News, that works for you.